In this video, I want to show you how to set up your company and the competitors you want to use for your company. I set up the original file with Walmart as my primary company and then the largest retailers that I wanted to compare to Walmart. But let's assume you're not doing Walmart. So you come into this spreadsheet and it has this opening page. You can just see I have a two in column D, two next to Walmart because that's my main company I'm comparing. A one against all of its competitors. And you can see I have several competitors here. If you go all the way down to the bottom, I have 64 competitors. So these are just companies that I thought should belong comparing to Walmart. But what I'm gonna going, going to do is I'm going to erase these. The erase stuff, you can hit your shift key and do the down arrow. Anytime you do the shift key, it highlights whatever is there, but that's gonna going to take forever. If you do the control in the down arrow, the control in the down arrow takes you to the bottom of that, that list. So I went from a list of 60 something companies and when that list ended, there's an empty cell. When I do the control down, it takes me to the top and the bottom of until I get to an empty cell. But if we combine the shift and the control, so you have the shift key down and the control key and your down arrow, then it highlights the entire section. If you let up on everything and just hit your delete key, it will get rid of the company selected. Let me do control Z and put it back. So I went to the first company, Walmart, in column D, I did control shift, I have them held down, and while I'm holding them down, I hit the down arrow. I then left lift up on everything. I'm not hitting the control button, not the shift button, not the down arrow, everything's lifted up. I hit my delete key, and now I've got rid of those companies. Now what I'm going to do is go back to column A, do control shift down, and then I'm going to do Control, keep the control shift down. I'm going to hit my right arrow three times. I want to, you got to make sure you highlight all the way through col column B, O. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to let up on everything. And then I'm going to, and you have it all highlighted. And then I'm going to, going to do data sort. And there's different ways we can sort it. I'm going to sort column F. You can see, you may have to experiment with that. It kind of depends on what you're looking for. I'm going to do column F, A to Z, and then I'm going to do column I. Column I is market cap. It's how big the company is. So I want to sort it, but I want to have the largest companies at the top of my list. So when I sort that by column F, and, and you'll get, if you use an S&P capital IQ, it will irritatingly um, keep giving you this this plug-in progress and if that come becomes too irritating you can go to the um, Bloomberg Pace Values file and just select everything and do control C the copy and then right click and paste as values if you do that it gets rid of all those formulas now once you do that you lose all of the formulas so I would not recommend you do that right at first we'll talk in class how you can handle that because it is somewhat frustrating. All right, so you can see here, the top of the list is automobile components. So let's say you wanna do automobile components. It's not a group I would recommend because of the heavy losses that they've had recently. But let's say you wanted to do General Motors. So I'm gonna put a two next to General Motors and then I'm gonna put a one and I'm gonna do Control C the coffee hit my shift key and then I'm going to arrow down so the shift key highlights it. I'm going to come down until I get all the automobiles and components. So once you get to all the automobiles and components and I hit my down arrow too many times, hopefully it will stop here pretty soon. I'm going to put ones, I'm going to paste the ones there. This is not a good machine because it captures too many things. So I've got a one all the way down. So let's say that's all the companies I want. 
So now I'm going to go back over here to row A4 to control shift down and keep the control shift still down. And I'm going to go right all the way to column BO. So it might take one time to the right, two times to the right, three times. It depends on what's in those columns. And then I'm going to sort it. And now I'm going to sort it based on column D. I'm going to do largest to smallest. And when I do that and say OK, and again, the capital IQ does of all of its stuff. When I do that, you can see I have GM at the top. And then I'm going to do control down. I can see I go through row 42. So when I do tickers, it's set up to start in row A. And I go down to the bottom, you can see it goes through row 68. Well, I don't want to go through row 68. I just want to go through row 42. So you can see there's row 42. So I'm going to do go to the one below it and do control shift down. And still control shift is down, do right, lift up on everything, hit the delete key. And now I have my companies. And again, the capital IQ is going to do a lot of a lot of calculations to try to get everything set up for your company. Let's let's do that again. If you didn't follow all that, let's do it again. But this time, so I'm going to do go to the top of column D and column and D4, cell D4, control shift down arrow, let up on everything, hit the delete key. I'm then going to go over the A4. Control shift down and right three times. And now I'm going to sort. And let me sort this time. I'm going to sort by, let's do column uh, E. And I'll do A to Z. And then column I again. Say OK. And again, capital IQ. You can see how irritating capital IQ is. Every time you do anything, it is going to recalculate because you're changing the companies it's doing its analysis on. This can be a major issue if you're on a machine that's moving really slowly, but hopefully it won't be a major issue. And let's say this time I want to do utilities. So I know utilities. I sorted by column E and I know utilities is at the end of the alphabet. So I'll just do not control shift, but just control and the down arrow. And there are my utilities. So I've got all of my utilities. And let's say I want to do Duke is my company. So I put a two there. Nextera is the largest, but Duke's the one I want to do. And I'll put a one here and then I can copy and shift. And you can actually do your page down. You don't have to do the arrow down. And you want to highlight all of that. So I got the companies. I want all of these utilities. If you wanted to, you could do it by column G if you only want electric utilities. So you have to look at these columns and see what you want. And then I'm going to do, I want to get back to the top. Again, we can do control and the up arrow. Go to A4, control shift down, and then control shift to the right until you get the BO. And now we're going to sort again. This time I'm going to sort by column D. Once I pick my companies, I want to do column D and do largest to smallest and say OK. And again, capital IQ is going to do all of its calculations, frustratingly so. And you can't copy and paste the values until you have your companies picked. So if you're having a lot of trouble with your machine just being too slow, then do your file at on campus in a faster machine or send your file to me. Tell me what you want and I'll do it for you and send it back to you. So here we got Duke in there. If I go over to D and do my control down, you can see here we're going through row 74. So when I do my tickers, there's Duke. I do my control down and I can highlight that. Do control C. Hit my shift button. You got to know when to use the shift, when to use the control, and when to use both. Hopefully, you're seeing that. 
I can go down a little bit. Again, I make the mistake of uh, hitting the down arrow too many times. My machine slowly does all of those. It's probably part of that is capital IQ. And so those were all copy in there. Uh, remember, on the Russell 3000 page, they're only going through row 74. So we want to find where that row 74 is. You can see the row numbers up here. 79, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So 4 is the last company I have. You can see my last company is PCYO. So I want everything below that. Again, Control and Shift. I want to highlight the entire area. area. You have to do Control and Shift, down arrow, right arrow, hit Delete. I now have my company and all the competitors. And then when you when you get over here, there's so you don't have to do anything on the page values other than picking the companies you want. You then make sure you have your companies here. And then right here, one more page, Bloomberg page values. When you go there, what you're going to find out is you may need to refresh. It just depends on your machine, how you have it set up. So you, you go to this page, do S&P Capital IQ, refresh, and refresh worksheet. And just to make sure, it looks like it is actually already had the right numbers. So when it was doing that uh, before, it was ref doing it for the entire spreadsheet, not just the page you were on. But to be careful, I would do it just to make sure the last thing you want to do is um, run all your data and then discover you're looking at numbers for the wrong company. So here's all your data. Now, the frustration is going to be is anytime you make any changes, the S&P capital IQ is going to be recalculating, and that can be frustrating. So if you get it to this point, and you're sure you've got everything you need, and you don't want to do all these capital IQ formulas, what you can do is select the entire worksheet for the Bloomberg Pace values, Control C, and then in column A1, you could right click and hit this one, two, three. Now, when you do that, you lose all of your formulas. So, what I would recommend that you do is before you do that, save it as a different file name. Maybe put the word paste in your file name so you know this is one of the Pace values. That way, if you mess something up, you know, save it. Once you get your company set up, save that with all your company set up. And then if you want to go in and copy and paste this page as values, then save it as another file with the word paste in the title. That way, it'll be a lot faster. But if you mess up, you can go back to your original file and start from there. So uh, hopefully that helps you get everything you need to get, get you started for working on the analysis.